I'm freaking out. <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that boy! Was beautiful. Wow, I love that. A snappy love intro. Yeah, was that, that was Louis cool. Armstrong or yeah, what? Louis yeah. Armstrong. Oh my was, god! Uh, that was from was really nice. SoundCloud user Pat Weston. Thank you for that, Pat yes. Weston. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us, everybody. Welcome to the Valley Cast. This is a podcast from the Valley folk. Uh, I'm Elliot Morgan. This is uh, Joe Beretta. That's Lee Newton, and we're here with our very <gasps> special guest, ladies and gentlemen. Gus, <laughs> I've done it. Gus, you yes. made it after pine after screaming at us and 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 did you groveling. I did. I was begging for hours outside the front door. You oh, were. Babe. Yeah. Um, Only reason I got in it was left a jar last yeah, night. Yeah. Honestly, and that's Dude, an accident. Yeah. When that I was, was pulling up, I saw you entering the office, and it was like I had this moment of like sick joy. I was like, he's not gonna know. He's no one knows. It doesn't make sense when you come into this office because like, <laughs> he, like he, I was imagining it from your perspective. Went to the other door and I yeah. Felt so bad. Because when you like, go up, oh. you see that you're like there's that feeling of like this is the address, and then you see the number, and you're like, oh, this must be the door, and then yeah. mm, trick door doesn't even open. Oh, it's a nightmare, dude. I used yeah. to be, I used to be a pizza <laughs> delivery guy, and like oh. A small in-town house and stuff like because in the country they have the five digit fire numbers out at the end of the driver you can be like i see that from yeah. a mile away but in town everyone's like i'm gonna make my numbers different i'm gonna put them in wood <laughs> yeah. and yeah. you can't see so yeah. i mean my high school Mine's life be in wing dings. filled with that yeah, wing yeah. Dings. yeah like a... fancy font numbers where yeah. sixes look like twos yeah. Yeah. tally marks <laughs> yeah. those no, half I love those. yeah those addresses those with the good. half we <laughs> always get the we get the offshoot a lot oh how are you doing you're doing great uh, the, this, hap- honestly, this happens this, all the time. This Elliot. might be a representation of you. Elliot's today. Mike's a little uh, uh, Randy right now. A it's little, going a little crazy. Oh, Randy. A little Randy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little off the rails. Um, Gus, I was shown one of your videos by Joe, mm-hmm. and um, I fan. laughed. Big fan. I laughed so hard and truly, and not in a way that I laugh just so Joe feels better about him showing me something. <laughs> An obligatory. I yeah, I by truly this laughed showing you. very hard, and um, it was the bit. It was the video where I don't know. You were playing a piano, and then at the end, but then you're, you you smack your head into a cabinet. A yeah, bunch the of times. Mitchell Robbins, yeah. whereas Mike Raven soup and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you um the mic. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Soup. That it's so freaking funny, man. Um, oh, thanks. That's that's it. That's all I have. And it's I like, was introduced to Gus with a "Try Not to Laugh" by Smosh, and it made me real happy. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Oh, it was good stuff. Real good stuff. You have a you were in a cheerleader costume, and at one point you scream really intensely, and I was like, "That's just good comedy, man." That was it. I really showcased my body that time. Honestly, <laughs> I'm proud of you <laughs> Thank because you. not everyone does there. Not was, everyone showcases their body there. <laughs> I was super body positive. Yeah, that's who he is. If you don't know Gus Johnson, he's actually super body positive. On uh, his whole brand is yeah. <laughs> for uh, for those joining that don't know Gus, Gus is going to tell you a little bit about himself right oh, now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. What do you it. do, Gus? <gasps> I'm me. I'm Gus, and I make uh, uh, videos that are not what is usually lengthwise on this platform these days. I make shorter memes for the most part, pretty short, 30 second minute videos, Beautiful. just comedy stuff, just poking fun at things in life. Some old school classic YouTube shit right there is what Ooh. Gus does. Mm-hmm. You are incredibly funny and anybody and listening <laughs> should go <laughs> watch his videos because it's so funny. Elliot's a good. little hungover today and Elliot hungover is always my favorite. <sighs> I don't know what happened, guys. We can talk about it. It's my, definitely going to be what I talk yep, about. Yeah, put on those glasses because that, that helps. that was it? That yep, there it is. The lights Whoa. don't aren't. It's a truly not. It, for sh- <laughs> yes, not only does it look cool. For sure, it does look very cool. But, <laughs> but it also does help block these god dang sky freaking horrid lights that it's just a light this is a podcast where oh <laughs> <laughs> we all come to the table and we uh steve's in fantastic fest but we all come to the table with a topic mm-hmm. and we all discuss it and um we talk it out and we talk it out and sometimes we do throw in some sponsors which we'll hit in a little bit um and sometimes we uh we uh kick out to uh some special patrons from our, Ooh, patreon, va- our patreon patreon.com slash the valley folk and this week uh big shout out to Hunter Arrowwood. Hunter. It's his 21st Dang birthday. It, dude, that's what I was Hunter. looking up. Yeah, man, I got you. Wow. Say, awesome. So we're going to, we're here's a special happy birthday song happy birthday, for you. Man. One, two, three, go. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. It's your day. Happy birthday. Wow. Day. Your day. Happy birthday. Your name is Hunter. Day, what a birthday. journey. Yeah, 21st birthday. Happy birthday to you. Not dead like you, you are and there. Many more. 
be. Not, the name's pretty baby. cool. Dead. Not kind of an aggressive name, but still wine. cool. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy thinking oh, drinking is fun. Was nice. Is that in C sharp or what? Oh, it was actually minor. But Sorry. That's always what it is. It was a little flat. <laughs> I have perfect. <laughs> 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 I'm glad you appreciate Hunter Arrowwood's name, Gus, because we did a little. Um, we did a video for him a little while ago, and our the game we played with him was what character on what TV show is Hunter oh, yeah. Arrowwood? 100%. Oh, mm-hmm. damn! And what time on CW does it? Yeah, I was yeah, just that's gonna... exactly <laughs> it. That's exactly what it is. Um, Hunter Arrowwood for sure. Yeah, so there it is. We've done it. We've shouted out. If you want uh, to get your own shout out, go to our Patreon and uh, mm. sign up. You might get one. Hey, if all of you guys Maybe. go sign up for our Patreon, we'll we'll be able to sleep a lot better. Yeah, please oh, do that. Everything about that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything about letting Good us sleep a little morning, bit. Morning, angel. <laughs>
for like a moment one time up. during a stream. You can see him a softball, but he is holding a 50 pound bat right now. He's not doing anything. Wow, beautiful metaphor, Joe. Holy crap. We get it. Uh, <laughs> he likes sports. He's fine. He's, he's, likes fine. Sports. he's fine. He's fine. Uh, yeah, I I threw up. Uh, I threw up a lot, and I felt really bad. And then I made it to bed somehow, and woke up at like ten forty five with Joe calling me, going like, "Hey, the link in the SoundCloud description is wrong for the podcast." And uh, and I was cow. like, "Dude, I don't know what happened. See you soon." <laughs> I woke and that's up to it. that same text from Joe. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not an yeah. employee here at all. Yeah. Yeah. He does it to everyone. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's just a constant. Joe just needs share. people. It's a yeah. Friday text. This Wait. Facebook updates are like company <laughs> insider information. <laughs> the yeah. audio's out of sync on today's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how phone. Um, <laughs> you, the the description of what you went through is very sad and pathetic, and I love it. I'm I love the moment oh, of. I love the moment of. It's going to happen again, and you have no control mm-hmm. over it. You're just sad. You know it's coming. You said you puked on your floor. Were you in a sitting position, or were you in a fetal position? <laughs> Indian style. <laughs> <laughs> that means you puked on your leg, too. Wait, were you yeah. really Indian style? All over style? my shirt, dude. No way. You're my right. new t-shirt. Oh, oh, baby. And then I got a paper towel, and then I fell asleep with my head in my hands and woke up and forgot that I'd gotten the paper towel roll, but I hadn't cleaned up Oh, oh I woke man. up <laughs> to my own. This happened, guys. Okay. When did you start college? Jesus. Everybody, yeah. let's buckle up. I uh, oh, no. I was there was a girl, and I was we had been seeing each other casually, and I. Gus, uh, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that you were gonna be with. There's, there's a girl podcast. I'm so sorry. Gus, buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> I, let's just say, was a dick to a girl and then I was like oh no I've been a total dick you wanted to retract the dick and I wanted to d- retract the dick I thing you gotta that, that does that not work take two okay you have to pull it out pull no, the stop, dick out stop stop no, no it's no, bad either okay. one. come gotcha. everywhere <laughs> yeah that's, I was trying to think of like let him yeah. finish no no let no, 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 no <laughs> take it home with you uh, Gus is better than uh, all of us <laughs> I got uh, I was like, I'm going to get out of town. You're going to get out of town. We'll talk afterward. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a jerk or whatever. And I'm not going to go into details about how I was a jerk. But it was significant. But it wasn't like, you know, I was a jerk. So anyway, I uh, f- flew. I was like, at last minute, I was like, fuck it. I was like, I'm going to fly out of state to go where she's going to make a grand romantic <laughs> gesture. And so. And then you <laughs> spread your arms and you jumped in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so I go to uh, Portland out of nowhere. I book a plane Beautiful. ticket. And. Um, this is some rant, like movie stuff. This, this is, is movie level stuff. This is this is insane. What they don't show is the guy that doesn't make it because his gay causes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say the guy who doesn't make it because he's gay. <laughs> and I was like, that's a funny like thing, but it's a weird moment to throw in that jab. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You didn't check this on your pre-board pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so I I fly to Portland. It's like Friday night. And I'm like, well, it's, this is going to be super romantic and uh, and like sweet. And I'm going to apologize. And um, the <laughs> okay. So then I don't hear from her, and I'm like, oh, this is like, mm-hmm. this is not good. Like I've I and and she definitely knew I was going to Portland. And then so I was like, oh, I'll just check into this hotel. I'm sure you know she'll she'll text mm-hmm. at some point. We'll go to a bar. We'll you know. Oh yeah, she'll love us. this It'll thing that I'm doing. So I was like, I'll just check into this the closest hotel I can, cheapest hotel, because I'm sure I won't end up staying there. And I went to sure. an Econo Lodge in Portland next to the airport. Jesus Christ, and I have so many places in Portland <clears> to stay. If you would have just texted. Oh listen, oh I got oh a good. Hotel. Oh Lee, buckle up, <laughs> Lee, buckle up, Gus. Are you guys buckled? I've buckled. buckled five times. Uh, in this uh, <laughs> <laughs> I. Okay, so it's like midnight, and I'm in this hotel. There's blood on the curtains. There's Jesus light bulbs Christ. missing. The the carpet is stained and I'm like this is the grossest place I've ever been at one o'clock rolls around and I'm like oh I'm a and moron he's from Florida I was like this is a stupid move I can't believe I did this what a dumbass move and then so I just start texting the girl and I'm like hey this is a dumb thing that I did I'm just a moron I you know what am I doing I'm sorry here in this fucking hotel I was like there's blood everywhere and uh and so <laughs> then I would just fall asleep and I'm like she's just ignoring me she's being so mean and this is 1 a.m or something and I wake up and there's this these text messages that just say holy hell I don't get in till tomorrow Elliot and, uh, and I was like, <laughs> and so then I was like, "No, you could, could have told me." And uh, and so then I'm like all pissy about that. And then she like she's like, "Let's get a drink at this whiskey bar tonight." 
And I was like, great. And so I'm like doing this whole thing and I go and we meet and we talk and I say all these things. I'm like, this is where I'm coming from. This is what I think is going on. I have, you know, fear of all this. And uh, I've been thinking about everything. I had this whole bears. Like, fear yeah, of bears. Course, fear of bears. bears and yeah. Um, yeah. I don't want to marry a bear again. Mm-hmm. And I felt mm-hmm. like I was married to a bear for a long time. And Preach. I'm worried that you're going to be a bear. And yeah. then if I, if, you know, I commit, then in some way it means that it's going to, I'm not you know, speaking metaphorically. Like it's actual bears. Yeah. That Anytime I've yeah. committed a bear, uh, bear, bear eventually. Yeah. Um, the bear tears up the home. So anyway, I uh, <laughs> I was like, let's they sleep most of the year. I was like, so what do you think about that? And she was like, it's really nice. She was like, um, and it's really sweet that you came out here. She's like, you um, you you know, you didn't have to do that. And she was like, um, I just I what happened was very hurtful, and I need a little bit of time. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. And uh, <laughs> now, okay. and now she I'm goes, in <laughs> she looks at me and she goes, even now I can see you hating not getting exactly what you want. And I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> that was the moment oh. where I was like, oh, uh, wow. like it was, it felt like someone turned the lights on and I've, I've, it, I'll probably never forget it, but it was definitely like a good moment. It was like a moment where I was like, that's a good moment. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, a very like, oh, you do, you do know what you signed up for <laughs> in this, in this uh, <laughs> process. So anyway, we talked for a little bit and then that was it. And she, she went back and she was like, I'm going to take my, the day of tomorrow and do my thing. And I was like, okay, great. At this point, I've checked into a dope ass hotel in downtown port. I'm like, no oh, blood on Econo lodge. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I bumped it up to Super a basin. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, so I go and I, I'm, I go back to my hotel. I have a beer and I fall asleep and we had oysters when we were out, and it was super fun after I'd done all the dumbass gross. stuff. And uh, super w- weird and gross, but kind of fun when you're out and about. Even if you like oysters, they're never fun. No. It's not, Whoa, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enjoyable. No, it's a full, like, oh, cool, a snot pile. <laughs> like, exactly. that's exactly what it is. It's a run out to uh, Everything you're putting in your mouth it's is fun, gross. You know, I don't know if you want, I want you to do it slower I or know. faster. <laughs> Every choice is wrong. Uh-huh. They're good. You put it on a cracker. But anyway, um, yeah, well, they're not good. They're just, it's, a, it's an they're experience. They're there. I don't know, whatever. I love a good food experience. I grew up in Florida. It's a fun thing. So anyway, uh, I like to defend oysters like <laughs> I, I give know. a shit. You guys back off, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a shit? Of course, you don't like oysters. That's a normal thing to not like. They're disgusting. But um, I wake up in the hotel, and I'm like in bed, and I'm getting text messages from the girl, and she's like, let's you know, let's get breakfast tomorrow. And I was like, great. And I'm like feeling kind of under the weather, and I was like, I'm going to go get weed and i'm gonna get super high and sleep but i was like before i do that i'm gonna find in a my new hotel. Dope hotel yeah i was like i had this amazing hotel Portland let me find so another amazing hotel like i did the modern hotel let me do a historical hotel Excuse using me. hotels tonight dot com slash valley and uh <laughs> yeah and i okay so this is where the story gets wait is this your third hotel this is i'm between hotel yeah, this is uh, between second and third hotel <laughs> thank you for asking Joe. are we Okay. Listen. You know you can just stay in a hotel, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is where this okay. the story. This is where Elliot. This is where the 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 character in the movie really. Uh, where if you were watching the movie, you would be like, "This isn't believable." So this I, is where I would probably change the channel. There's like yeah. <laughs> there's a gap of time between when you can check out of one hotel and into another hotel, which I didn't think about. But I woke up and I threw up in the bathroom. And I was like, "Oh, I'm a little hungover. That's weird. That shouldn't be the case." And uh, same thing. Same thing as the t- t- uh, last night where I was like, "I did not nothing." to warrant this i see now that there's a pattern and uh Um. and i threw up and i was like well i'm glad i got that out of my system i bet i need some food that's all it is i'm gonna go to mcdonald's and Mm. so i walk to downtown portland mcdonald's (laughs) which is not in a cool area of downtown portland it was a downtown filled with uh, McDonald's have, filled with I've vagrants and hobos. Listen to me. Sixteen times, I have so many places I could have directed. <laughs> no, 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 no. The it's Portland a, it's is a communication. Portland is a. Uh, uh, I got all sorts of feelings Portland, on Portland. You could go to Flying Biscuit. You could go to the <clears throat> diner. No, no. You could we go went to, to plenty, no. okay. plenty. I think we did do the biscuit. Anyway, <laughs> so oh I'm in a McDonald's. I wouldn't have wanted to go you to a nice Portland. place. You I wouldn't have wanted to go to a fun place. You could have gone to a place that was very Lebowski-ish and at least been sat by yourself. No, no, no. I, I, I you didn't. Would not. No. <laughs> Hell no. I needed a McDonald's because there's something about the comfort of a shitty environment that made me feel better in that moment. I needed like You're right. There is a pattern. The the <laughs> you felt like. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I went and I, I ordered a sausage biscuit. I'd gotten a Gatorade at Seven Eleven and a coffee, Christ. and I'm sitting there and I'm <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> Lee, Get it ready. gets so much hey, hey, worse. Hey, buckle up, buckle I can't. up. I can't help it's it's unreal. 
<laughs> it's unreal. I gotta jump out. I'm at like a six of how bad it gets out of a ten. And Gus, so I'm, I'm in so the, sorry. Yeah, Gus, Merry welcome Christmas. to the podcast. I didn't have to go through it. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm in the, this McDonald's, and there's homeless people everywhere, and they're all like saying things to me, and I didn't care. I looked them dead in the eyes, and just I didn't respond. Like I was out of my mind, and I'm trying to eat the sausage biscuit, mm. and I for some reason it's gross, and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, news to me. I uh, yeah, it wasn't fresh or whatever. Huh. Um, do you want to explore that? Wow, yeah. well, yeah. can we put it? Let's, let's dive into deep that. dive. Jamie, pull uh, that up. <laughs> <laughs> and so I feel my stomach like you're it's you're gonna lose it, Elliot. And I was like, no, I'm not. I already did it, Elliot. You're fine. And I start gripping the Gatorade, and and it, 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 it was like a light switch, and I went from like I can control this to like no, Elliot, you're gonna throw up in this McDonald's right now. You have to go to the bathroom. I. Got up, beelined it to the bathroom, left everything there, including my cell phone, oh boy. all on top of everything. I went to the bath, couldn't make it to the bathroom. My mouth, this, sorry for <laughs> folks, sorry for listening, this is gross. My mouth did, in fact, fill up with mm. the, the <laughs> stuff. What? I was holding it, I covered my mouth, and then like a super no, soaker, no, no, it projectiled no. out of my mouth before I made oh, it to the bathroom, no. and painted the Honestly. wall in orange sausage biscuit <laughs> bits, like, covered it. Like... <laughs> And Why shot did you filter out. it like a fucking spray? Because yeah, I thought I was trying bang to bang hold my mouth shut. <laughs> you were like a cartoon cat. I was like, <laughs> and it was like, I covered oh. I was like, oh no, this will help. And it definitely just like, it fired out. And I saw it. Like, it like, it was like a pre pressure washer. You can washer. ask why it was orange. Yeah. Gatorade, because the Gatorade. Oh. Is like, got it, got it, got it. I was just worried. Because that's that internal brush. bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. There it is. Um, I went to the bathroom. There was a homeless person in the stall. There was a homeless person by the sink. And so all that was left was the urinal. I vomited into the urinal for a long time, <laughs> surrounded by homeless people that didn't give even look at me, Did, didn't even make eye contact. How and at this point, like? I was like, damn, I'm romantic. And so I was like, I'm yeah, killing this. Yeah, this is what they don't so, show you on those romantic yeah. things. It's the guy doing <laughs> There's this. Moments in between those montage moments that, yeah, that, that are that just are completely just rock left. bottom. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I go back, I sit down next to my sausage biscuit and I'm like, well, this isn't going well. And then like, I feel heavy and I'm like, I'm going to go to the weed store and I'm going to get some weed and I'm going to sure. die. And I go to I'm the weed <laughs> I walk, I start walking to the weed store downtown oh, and like, no. I can't, like I physically can't walk. Like it feels like I'm uh, 30 pounds heavier than I am. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh no, I'm going to throw up again. And I controlled it. And I was like, you're not going to throw up LA. And when I controlled it, I was like, heck yeah, I'm at that stage where I, I now have power over my my, my <laughs> ability to, to, yeah. to vomit. You leveled yeah. up as a human. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, this is the next stage. So then I go into the, the weed store and I'm like, I feel my stomach kind of like it's about to it's you're gonna do this again and uh, and I was like oh no 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 not in the weed store not in the weed store and it's like an apple store not for those church, li listening not in it's, it's like a yeah it's a very fancy sort of hipstery weed store and the woman is like can I help you and I was like yeah just I want like a vape pen or something and she like shows all these options and I was like I, I don't know it's all like gibberish I don't give a crap it's just <laughs> give me something give me that one and I picked it and like I'm checking out and she takes my ID and she's looking at it, she's like it's so funny you know we have people come in from Los Angeles that you know because it's legal there and it's interesting that and I was like yeah I'm on vacation and like <laughs> there was some kind <laughs> <laughs> kind of like in my my mind was like just just whatever moves this along fastest because I'm about to throw up again yeah and I feel my stomach kind of do the thing that it did in McDonald's which was it's gonna happen right now and so I look at the lady who's giving me my <laughs> weed who's this sort of like punk rockish hipstery girl and yeah. she's like yeah it's so interesting did it and she you know and this is a really good one and did it I'm like I don't I don't care I don't care and I go do you have a, a restroom and she goes no and I go okay um I am very sick right now so I need you to move as quickly as possible no. and she looks at me and she goes Okay, and she like staples it, hands me the receipt, gives it to me, and I go, thank you, and I take it, I <laughs> storm out of the, the weed <laughs> shop, and before I can make it out, uh-oh, before, out the door? Mouth fills up again. Oh. And I, With this what? time, listen to me, Gus. <laughs> yeah. With what? Yeah, yeah. Gus, what? listen, you're not gonna believe it. Uh, Gatorade. To be uh, uh, frank with it, and so it fills up against oh, those electrolytes. Those yeah. electrolytes, yeah, they they help. Your everything. body's rejecting it. Yeah, it, oh, yeah, a little bit. My body was <laughs> rejecting so many things, and it, I held it, and I was like, "Not again! Not what happened to McDonald's! You're gonna hold your lips <laughs> shut." And I held it, and I threw up in my mouth in the waiting room of the weed store. Got out, walked four steps, threw up on the sidewalk in Portland, next to where that river is downtown. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh. It's uh, stunning. You see, people, <laughs> beautiful day. It's like, oh, this looks great. It was <laughs> amazing. <laughs> 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 oh, look at the 
potato. Oh, 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 better. Oh, oh, I'm oh, so God, light. Fall such a beautiful day. <laughs> and so then I was like, I'm gonna sit right here on the sidewalk in this it's nook the of the building. Fucking movie. While people are walking by, I sit down <laughs> it, next to my own vomit and I start yep. opening my drugs and I bring out the the weed pen and I'm like anything like whatever and I got the Gatorade still and like I'm like that's gonna help and I'm smoking the weed pen and I'm like I hope nobody looks at me because I was definitely had throw up on my shoes and was like exhausted from standing and then I realized yeah. that I was of I was no one looked at me because I looked like a drug addict on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I looked like a homeless drug yeah. addict in Jordans, like smoking crack. And I was like, don't look at me in my shame. <laughs> and no one did. And I basically sat there for like 30 minutes oh, and just wow, like, whole 30. and it gets worse. Still waiting for that check in time or is yeah. that why you're Exactly. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it, that's exactly. I called the hotel while I was sitting there and was Again, like, can I can check just in? just stay at a hotel next time. Mm -hmm. So one. Didn't even think about done. the fact there was a gap of time between check out and check in. Like, what a moronic <laughs> move. And so, and it was that's such a nice hotel. That's the dumb thing that happened. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Looking it. back, that's where it went wrong. <laughs> uh, and so then I was like, oh, I'm, I'm so tired. I was like, I'm exhausted. I'm going to go sleep. There's nowhere to sleep because I can't check into a hotel. So I was like, I'm going to go to a park and I'm going to. Oh, sit no. down on a Hobo bench. Hobo Elliot. Yeah, Lee, I went to a park and there were, it was homeless people everywhere, Gus. And Joe, I sat on one of those benches that has like a divider in the middle yeah. to keep homeless people from laying from down. Actually laying and down. I put my legs over it and I fell asleep <laughs> surrounded by homeless people and had people walking past me. And then I fell asleep for like like 40 minutes and woke up super <laughs> high and was like what's going on and then but a part of me was like i feel amazing <laughs> and then i went and had subway but my throat was all sore from throwing I, up I all mean, i threw up all over stop Portland. putting things in you like, yeah. i know right yeah <laughs> and then yeah. i went and had subway all the, and, and again uh -huh. i i just want to say i love portland so much tuna, tuna? jesus what christ <laughs> I love Portland so much. There's so many amazing places I went to, to it's go fine. and eat. It's fine. I, I went to some nice places. Screen Door is one of them that I really love. There's a biscuit place that I'm Screen Door is where I went. Yeah, Screen Door is really there. It's nice. beautiful. Um, um, Society Hotel is a wonderful place in downtown, and they have a phenomenal coffee shop. Portland can, can go, go fuck itself. Any, I don't give a shit. It's Portland, I hate kind Portland. Of donuts, Blue, Blue Star <laughs> Donut, Voodoo No, donuts. Portland sucks. I don't care. Portland's it. Portland, I thought I was going to like it because I know you love it, and I was like, oh, Portland will be so cool. Portland is actually, I found my line. It's just too liberal for me. Like, wow. I'm too, yeah, I was like, this is it. Do you it. think These that was are... because you were a homeless person for a day and no one looked at you? It has nothing to do with my experience. <laughs> it certainly has nothing to do with my subjective experience. Okay, got it, got it, got it. This sure. is an objective opinion sure, that it's too absolutely. liberal. Uh, no, it was definitely, it was I wish experience. you would just say the girl's name. Betty White. <laughs> Betty upset. White, yeah. yeah. Okay, Man, so what a, there what she a is. Journey. Oh. What a journey you went on. So this is you discovering, and I'm just going to say this uh, as a possibility, that maybe your body is starting to reject alcohol. Now, look, it, it happens. It's more, I think it's starting to reject beer. It's beer. Ooh. I think Joe's right. No, here's the thing. My friend Cy, he went off it for a minute, and then the second he went back on, he was like, Doubled over, stomach yeah. pains, puking. Yeah, I think it might be that I'm boat little, with beer. Can I be honest? I'm a little upset. My topic was going to be how I was following a Chevy Cruze and a woman vomited four times out of her car. <laughs> really? <laughs> when I was 16, right after I learned how to drive, a woman stuck her head out of uh, Oldsmobile, threw up, and it was projectile, and it, it covered my windshield like a mist. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god. And I was like, I guess this is a this thing that was, happens when you drive. It was like kind of an insane thing. I literally followed her all the way down our street and it was one of those things where she literally four different times opened the car door, hurled, and then but not like a hurl and like, oh my god. It was like a bleh, click. Really? Do 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 and I <laughs> couldn't figure out what the journey was behind mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Um, well, I have a second topic. Maybe so I'll she talk gave up that, beer for most of the year <laughs> and could she be. started drinking it. Again. I mean, it's important to keep yourself engaged when you're driving so you don't yeah. fall asleep, this though. This is very true. This is very <laughs> true. I, some people do podcasts, some people just project out oh. vomit. Yeah, this is true. But oh. it was one of those uh, impressive pukes and then just yeah it was like and, and i thought maybe it was food poisoning because of the the oysters and then like this time I was oh like, god you were puking up oysters that's so i gross. forgot about that yeah <laughs> four of them yeah and man you in one day you did oysters Sub muffin, subway tuna you learn nothing tuna. in 24 hours <laughs> Honestly, man, that's yeah. gotta get some capers right now <laughs> <laughs> there's one cure I don't know, man. I'm just gonna start eating spoonfuls of peanut butter. And see if that helps. <laughs> I gotta, oh, Can you imagine oh, just man. puking up pure peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like soft serve ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so gross. I don't know, man. I oozed so peanut butter everywhere. I don't know what to say. <laughs>
I want to thank you for that. We're going to unbuckle. Give us five minutes to get <laughs> yeah, these buckles off. These yeah. buckles Do you know what would have made that whole thing better? I don't know. A happy a soundtrack? Um, if you were wearing me undies. Oh. oh. Nice, Joe. Tell me more about me undies. Do you MeUndies? like that segue, everybody? You guys I know we love our like me undies here. They got do. fun designs. They're comfy as F. Whoa, Some might easy. say, yeah. yeah, no, I'm getting a little careful. Mm, I'm getting a little crazy here. <laughs> um, we love MeUndies. They've been with us for a while, and uh, here, let me tell you a little bit about them. Please do. I will. They use a micromodal, micromodal fabric, which is a full three times softer than regular cotton. And that's not just something we're reading. No, actually, like, it they're really the comfiest is super dang things soft. that I've ever. Have you ever me undied? No, guess? I have Hanes on right now. It's like sandpaper. You're down miserable. We have aren't you? to get a yeah. me undies, yeah, me undies. If you mention another brand during this read again, Gus, we're <laughs> we're gonna. I have great value underwear on right now. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. It's great value. Yeah, yeah. What's the uh, what's your, your underwear suck, Gus? Ours are awesome. <laughs> what's Target's brand like? They're like Kirkland? artisanal farms. Kirkland? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing yeah. as good as me yeah, Let's not talk about those. Yeah. Do you like colors, Gus? Do you like? I love colors. Look at all those colors, colors you got there. That's yeah, my favorite color. It's fun designs. Yeah. MeUndies will hit you up with all of that. They release multiple fun prints mm-hmm. each month with matching socks and bralettes. It's cute. Will you tell Gus what a bralette is? I it's actually just don't a know. Sweet little baby bra without any snaps or anything on there. Mm-hmm. It's pretty comfy if you're gonna <laughs> want around the house. <laughs> if a bra ever goes to Portland and then like makes the mistake of drinking beer in the morning, it'll throw up what's called bralettes. Oh, oh that's how they're made. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Ali, if you thing. interrupt the ad read one more I time. I know. What am I doing? Hundred <laughs> percent okay. satisfaction guarantee. You're gonna love these undies, but if you're not into it, just send them back for a full refund, Ooh, everybody. Nice. And they just launched something called Me Undies membership, which is really cool. You can love up your top drawer with new undies each month. Members gain access to exclusive prints that no one else can get. They get special member pricing on every product nice. MeUndies makes, including like they have like onesies and jammies and shirts and pants. Oh, the fans. shirts, the shirts. Oh, yeah, oh, my God. Very comfortable. And you can switch styles or skip any month you want. In fact, check this out. Check oh, this no. out, Gus. Oh, God. Gus. Uh-oh. Gus, 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 sorry. Gus. I wish you guys had HR again Gus. at this point. Yeah. Oh, my Gus. goodness. It's Star Trek. Oh, cool. Star Wars. It's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> going to let them know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just a little fun thing I like to throw in for the kids. <laughs> I like the mistakes. Star Wars Just gave Star myself Trek. a Melvin for me. Yeah, me and these is amazing. Yeah, so to uh, get your 15% off of your first pair, free shipping and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to meundies.com slash valley. Yeah. That's meundies.com slash everybody. Valley. valley. Oh, that's nice. There we that go. was Thank beautiful. beautiful. Bam. Beautiful. <laughs> There are a few things that, like, I really want that are material things, but I love, like, cool movie outfits or or props Mm -hmm. or something like that. And for the longest time, for, like, two or three years... I love thrift stores so much. Yeah, uh-huh. Every time I go to the thrift store, I go directly to the sweater section. Yeah. I look in the brown sweaters because I want to try to find a brown Pemberton, or is it Pendleton? I always Pendleton. Pendleton. A brown Pendleton sweater from the Big Lebowski. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, the dude's sweater. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I looked for years and years. <clears throat> Last Christmas, I go to the Goodwill in my uh, town back when I was when I was still in Wisconsin. Ooh. I'm walking around and I see a woman walking with the sweater on her arm. <gasps> and I was Steal like, it! I go, oh my god, that's the. So I went up to this woman and and she looked and to be like middle aged, right in the face. I, yeah, I did. I was like, I'm sorry, years have gone into this. You'll get it over it in a week. I've spent years. Um, but I went up to her because she was it was she was like a middle aged woman. She was there with with friends and stuff. Um, and I go up and I was like, excuse me, um, so sorry to bother you. Um, my grandpa no. used to have that yes, same Gus, sweater because yes, yes. I wanted to verify. I was like, yeah, can I just see like the, the tag on there to see if it's his or not his exact sweater? <laughs> yeah, like it's his guy. Dennis on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he wrote yeah. his name. Uh, yeah. On oh, his my God. <laughs> I need that. Um, <laughs> so um, and she goes like, yeah. And she opens it up. Of course, it's the Bendleton sweater. There it God. is. And I was like, can I? buy that from you i looked at my wallet i was like i have i will give you twenty dollars if i can buy that Ooh. from you before you check out and she goes i'm sorry i was like i have fifty dollars in here that's all i have because that sweater is was, hundreds, oh, of, dollars. hundreds yeah. of dollars yeah. yes yeah, it is and so i was like i i'll give you fifty dollars i said please it would mean so much to me and i also dropped the grandpa line already so um <laughs> and she goes i'm sorry it's for an office ugly sweater oh, christmas God. party no and i was like there's, it's not even a holiday it's not even theme. A Christmas it's Christmas. It's brown with zigzags. Oh, you went. Yeah. You know what she, went. Was like, oh my she was going to go so on some yeah, like, she was going to do something. She's yeah. Nick uh, Russ. Isn't you, you it, know, like, hideous? Yeah, she, you know she's going to like dump it in some Salvation oh. Army box in a week. Like, I wouldn't wear this hideous oh, thing. It was like, 50 I'll find bucks. you all 50 of them. 50 bucks. Oh that was all the cash I had on me. And she was just flat out like, what did, what did you say? I said, I'll give you $50. And she goes, 
I don't feel very comfortable with this. I was like, I'm trying to buy a sweater, not sell you drugs. Like, just yeah. give me fifty. Yeah, you're the one with the product. Fifty dollars. There was five bucks on the price My tag. My heroin is in the pocket of your jacket. Yeah. Give it back, ma'am. Gus was bare ass during this whole thing. Like, no <laughs> pants on. <laughs> you have lovely. I don't skin. know what she was uncomfortable about. <laughs> I really. Need that My sweater. grandpa's you really sweater. Need some, <laughs> you need some pants, son. Get some pants. I wouldn't. I, in fairness, I don't know how I would react to like someone, someone having like, a Here's product. Here's fifty dollars. Yeah, like, yeah. I would be like, it's weird though. Yeah, dude. And already dropped the grandpa line, so she had yeah. a frame yeah. of reference, not just like, dude, I'm really into that fabric. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it would make it. You're, she was wrong to say no, but I've never had the experience of like someone being like. That thing you haven't bought yet, I will now give you money for. I think that's a mind. That's a weird. That is weird. Thing. Yeah, yeah she didn't even buy it yet. You no, you were you giving have, her fifty three dollars. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get a sweater for the party, but I did make fifty dollars because this kid's grandpa also, died. Also, I could yeah. go to any other sweater, pick it up, and glue. Yeah, it's not on even it. a Christmas. No. I overheard like hearing the gals going, "Oh, this would be a hoot!" And I'm like, uh, "Oh, it's a brown sweater. No. no one's even gonna like it at the party. No, not as much as you would have. No. no, I would have loved it. Oh, I wouldn't man. have even flipped it. I would have kept it. I, like, I hope she yeah. burns in hell. Cause... I honestly, I hope she's dead already. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Fingers the crossed. worst. It is. The worst when that happens. We have a, a friend that had a Megan sweater, and her name is Megan, but she had like a Megan Christmas sweater that was made years and years, like eons yeah. ago, with like a sad reindeer head that's just like hanging off a of boob. <laughs> yeah, you that's know? Good. And it was one of those where she was like, I don't know what happened to it. I think someone took it. And it was like such oh, a devastation no. line that now we've been trying to replace that thing every Goodwill. We're like, go and get a green sweater because we mm-hmm. got to replace Megan's wow. Christmas oh, wow. sweater. Follow up question Did you? Do you have one yet? Did you no, you? I'm not going to buy one brand new because literally, no, it's like, too much. It's it wouldn't justify because I'd have it. I'd be like, all right, here's well, what you're going to want to do. Of dollars. Um, Portland, Oregon is actually where Pendleton started. <laughs> is that so? That's actually so. Uh, every now and then they have like really big warehouse sales. They also have a huge clearance section and outlet stores yeah. on beautiful Portland, Oregon. Go to portland.gov slash valley. <laughs> when I fell asleep in the park, there were three people protesting the idea of immigrants being illegal. Like they were protesting illegality. Like they were like, no one is illegal. And yeah, they were, tracks. but they had signs, but there were three of them. I'm in sorry a park that happened while they were, while shouting. you were trying to fall asleep in a park. You <laughs> hobo. And guess what? It didn't stop me. Yeah. I still okay. fell asleep. But yeah, it's, that's mm-hmm. also what you get in Thank addition God. to the <laughs> thrift store. Dude, I went to Portland one time. Uh, my girlfriend was working there for a month or for like a year Name or so. Name drop. Name drop. Sabrina. Um, <laughs> Sabrina to call you out. <laughs> Come on, girl. Um, but like I went there. And yeah, it was like the one day where she was like actually still at work and I was just alone in Portland and I walked like right downtown. I started having lunch like at this little outdoor cafe thing and then thousands of kids came and I like right, right there and then because it was like a few months months ago an entire like um gun violence protest happened around me or whatever because yeah. it was like the walkout day i didn't know yeah. it was like the school walkout day or oh, whatever no. <laughs> and like oh shit is it school like, walkout I, day? I was like i don't really want to like be i'm just trying to have a sandwich or whatever <laughs> and the one person that recognized me the whole day was like the young man news anchor guy that was like like your videos, man. And I was like, thanks. He's like, do you want to interview for the gun violence thing? I was Absolutely like, not. Probably uh, not, honestly. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm good for this one. Trying to get a pesto chicken yeah. sandwich in me. Probably so not. Mouth pretty good. Mouth up and you we have to find you that Pendleton everywhere. Big Lebowski sweater now. Please yeah, do. Like, we have or to find it. is it about the journey? And do you enjoy the odyssey that you're on I mean, at this point, if it? I've completed the journey, I found the sweater, and someone took the reward yeah, from me. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, I just the tragedy. Someone just You want to find it like that, but you're right, though, because when they are, there's a shirt from Moon, the movie moon that i really want it's wake me up when it's quitting time i love that movie i love the movie so much and also it's just that moon it's a killer shirt oh my god and i always want it and i saw it one time at a thrift store (laughs) yeah and i was like this is amazing and it was like size child it was just like a child size and i was like maybe if i cut it off and put it on a different shirt (laughs) but there's those things that you're like i could just find that what's um what are your guys's like biggest score from a thrift store the thing that you've loved the most that you've ever gotten from a thrift mm, store that's hard because i do this a lot i don't know yeah you um, and delman are like thrift do. store uh mine was that uh, do you guys remember that like lime light hyper green moose shirt i had back yeah. in source for that i wore all the time it was that and then yeah. that like, it just, like got destroyed before, i got her but i'm now there's a big hole in my heart it's gaping pretty sick cheer shirt from a thrift store Pretty sick cheer shirt, and then sick cheers. It's cheers. just all of them puking. And then I found a um a an embro- like a 
an engraving thing at a thrift store once. Uh, like it's like a full like vintage engraving thing where they put one slab there and one slab there and they follow it and it engraves on it. And I got it for thirty bucks and I sold it for six hundred dollars. Damn! So wow. that was wow. a really cool That's flip. That's crazy. That $600. We did, and we were like, "Oh, good nice. flip, good, good flip. flip." I had a good flip. Um, I also found a Pendleton robe once. Did you for really? Like Ten bucks and sold it for a hundred bucks oh, online. Pendleton. Wow, yeah. dude! I used to, nice. I used to be addicted to flipping stuff like it's that. A, so. It's a problem. That was it's like a, you get through college. Hooked. Yeah, you yeah. do. Like through college, like the first year or two of college, like I was doing YouTube. It was not full time. You know, like maybe I'd make a hundred bucks a month or something yeah. like that. And I was in school. And like most of my income would be from like going to the student bins. Like at the end of every semester, they would yes. have bins in the lobbies <gasps> of the dorm buildings and say like unused electronics, unused clothing, Put unused crap food. In here. Yeah. And like I checked with all the building managers and I was like, are these cool to take? They're like, yeah, take them. Everything else we'll just, we're just getting rid of. So I probably made, I made a few thousand dollars just flipping stuff. I love it. Because college kids are so stupid. It's all the <laughs> freshmen. Yeah. It's the it's the rich kids that yeah. come like, my mom got me this monitor. I didn't need it. And it's like so 300 it's like bucks. We'll just leave it out there. stupid iPad wow. and it doesn't even turn on. <laughs> yeah. It says like need charge or something. <laughs> oh, dude, Anyways, and, drugs. <laughs> <laughs> what I used to do too because it was like I had my own like house for the first time um, and I didn't really have like a job and I was going to yeah. live in the college town over the summer and I had no job. Like I applied for months. I couldn't. No one was hiring at all. So what I used to do is I would like go to sleep at 8 8 p.m. and then I would wake up at 3 in the morning when all of the like desk managers were gone and I would walk down to campus and I would have two duffel bags and I would (laughs) fill them up I would walk back with like 80 pounds of food every night and then I just like you know like non-perishables and stuff and I I saved myself thousands of dollars you I had food for like a year stealing a bunch of That's food amazing. from from desks yeah well yeah. it's just the yeah. it's the we don't want this like why did my mom get me soup I'm not getting s- eating soup and then they just like I throw it out it. there and it's like oh this Damn. is good for two years my mom used to give me soup in high school but I'm in college now and I'm not gonna have soup <laughs> anymore I'm, I'm a new soup, person mom. Yeah, I'm a stew guy now soup, I'm gonna give this soup to Gus that's some, God. That's some good <laughs> shit that's some next level shit Gus I like that kind of stuff where you just go I'm gonna do this forever yeah I feel like that would be my life it's just hermiting and being like yeah you know what else I used to do? You ever, are you familiar with a uh, website called Listia? No, sounds kind of scammy. Offer up out here. Really, mm-hmm. Listia. You're gonna dive in. You love it. <laughs> Listia is like one of those things where it's like, oh, you you don't do it for money. Like you don't sell things for money. Mm. You sell them for like po- points on the website, which you can redeem for gift cards, which sounds sketch as hell. But what I would oh. do is like. Um, I wanted to have no overhead costs for like, I didn't want to sell things that I'd have to pay for shipping and stuff. Right. So what I do is like, I went to like my grandpa and like all of my friends that bought like Blu-rays and stuff. And I would ask for their digital download codes and they're like, yeah, no one's going to use that thing. And, and I would sell digital site. download codes, you know, and I would just you oh would get sell the digital yeah. download yeah. codes that the came thing. with the Blu-ray for my, points. This Gus, is the truth. you're a smart person. <laughs> that's and a like, very I got, but then like, there's a site. Voodoo is a site where you can actually oh, get that's the, it. That's, that's it. The Voodoo, Voodoo stuff. Yeah. yeah, they're the there's Voodoo things. Things. Look, here's the thing. I have a friend's Voodoo and I won't say who because I don't want him to go to jail for it. But because that's a thing, right? Yeah. Matthew McConaughey. It's Matthew McConaughey. Fuck, Joe. Oh, wow. That's my um, all right, all right, all right. Like he can't pay for. <laughs> he's like, egg. Yeah, I need pants six. labyrinth on voodoo, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> digital download codes. Uh, <laughs> all right, digital download codes. All right, digital download codes. Um, uh, side note: There's a really beautiful meme going around of him walking through a Texas state uh, base baseball game. Nope football game and some girls just aggressively jump trying to kiss him <laughs> and i was like what is that life like where he just is walking through and she's like, ah! <laughs> like trying so hard to kiss him and he's just like oh, all right yeah. i'm matthew mcconaughey um so uh yeah it's a voodoo and I, it's a beautiful thing because he has so many and now he's on a weird forum where they share their codes too Ooh. so it's his voodoo is literally like, there hasn't been a movie that we haven't been able to find. Wow. We literally just search it and we're like, he's got it. That's nuts It's though. a treasure. It's a treasure Dude, trove. People yeah. really like, they jump all over that stuff. Yeah. Like from just flipping voodoo codes, I was able to buy myself like a big TV and a this microphone and headphones and stuff. And it's just all free. Oh. Like you just buy it. Like you get Amazon Gus, gift cards. can you do that in a stuff. Susie Orman voice for mm-hmm. me, please? <laughs> <laughs> better living. I don't know. She's like, better My, be just <laughs> flipping voodoo codes. I don't know. It's all you're going to want to do to make Another dollar. Is Ooh, that her? Boy. I have no idea. I don't know. I, uh, I don't, Susie need, I don't know like, if you need Ronald to continue. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> That's better if yeah. you do Ronald Reagan doing voodoo codes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't yeah. think you need to do that here now in LA, but you could because people oh, could are just yeah. throwing stuff 
on the street. Oh, it's yeah. enough people to take. I still, I get the itch. Like, yeah, I don't have to do that anymore, but I'm just like, dude, I see mm-hmm. stuff on the side of the road and I'm God, always going like, Here's what, what you're I gonna could do, do with Gus. that? Yes. You're now in a state sale town. Uh-huh. And estate sales are the best because they'll just do a bunch of treasures for j- junk money. Really? Yeah. And you're literally just like, cool. Dude. I, I love this grand piano I just bought for 40 bucks. Man, I love that kind of stuff, it's though. It's beautiful. I talked really briefly like on one of my last videos on my channel about a store for my hometown called Thingamajigs. <laughs> Sorry to <laughs> talk yeah. Dude, um, Thingamajigs is like, it's people That's that- beautiful. It's, they bought this huge warehouse downtown and these th- this family like went to estate sales and stuff and would yep. buy everything. Didn't even sort it. Dump it in the, in the thing. Oh. So it's like you'd walk through and you'd be like there's it. a handgun there's um <laughs> bernie max tv show like there's no sorting and and you just sort of like you pick you'd write through, through stuff and you're like hey um there's no price tag 10 bucks no 15 how about like eight all right all like right. no one cares i like, do love that about eight. fight <laughs> but, I go, go down on my original offer. Yeah. <laughs> they changed though they changed i went back and since then what they what they did is they cleaned out the store and they no. bought it's only food and like toiletries and stuff <gasps> But here's the thing is 75% of the store is expired. Yeah. All of it. <gasps> but it's cheap as hell. So like a box of pasta, five cents. Like oh Dove gosh. deodorant, eh, a dollar. You know, people like, say uh, those expiration dates wow. are bullshit. I used to have so. a dinted can I store. I need so much expired food from there. I don't give a damn. This guy's like, ready to go. <laughs> do what you want. Have you guys tried Beach Body um, on demand? I will never have a Beach Body, <laughs> but I will today. Gus, let me tell you, if you wanted one, I can help you out. Mm-hmm. Let's hear it. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> Gus is, I, I think I've piqued Gus's interest to everybody. Um, here's the deal, guys. You've heard us talk about Beach Body on demand before, mm-hmm. and this is how you can get it and try it. And I've, I've done um, P90X three uh which is why and i i have to say that all the time because people are like your body where'd you get it from and i'm like well let me tell you uh <laughs> i did a long time ago it's super fun and it's like half an hour <laughs> and, uh and it's it's wonderful and this is this is how smart they are uh they used to have all these dvds and you had to get the dvds and now they're like hang on why don't we just give people our entire library so here's the deal uh this is the fun thing um p next is really fun uh what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to check out P90X or you're going to want to check out Insanity or T25 or Brazil Butt Lift, all these things, Mm -hmm. Yoga Retreat, all of it is available on Beachbody On Demand, okay? And you get world-class trainers, all right? Not just people who are like, here's what we're going to do. It has the best programs, over 700 workouts for all fitness levels, ranging from bodybuilding to weight training to Yoga, they have a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yoga's really fun, yeah. I might Um, try that Brazil Butt Lift. For sure. Good. Yeah, I've been looking at your butt, and yeah, you know, it needs a, a little, little pickup never hurts. Yeah, it needs a little bit of a lift. Gravity's yep. been uh, ravaging it for a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, nutrition uh, help too. So if you're like, I need to know what to eat, that's great. So here's what you want to do if you want to try it out. Uh, one million people, by the way, over one million people are currently doing beach body on demand stuff. Good so job. this is not a new thing, but here's how you get it, and this is a very interesting thing. We always do like the URL slash whatever. Listen to this. So you can get a free trial membership <laughs> when you text the word Valley to. 303030. All right, that's 303030. And you text the word Valley. That helps us. It helps you. And you get to try out this library of workouts. Do whatever you want, whatever you're interested in. Privacy of your own home. That's the dream. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. You don't got to go to a gym. You don't got to pretend to be anything that you're Pony not. Mascara, you don't gotta, high ponytail. But if you do want to have a friend, bring them on over. They can just jump on in there with you. You guys have a little workout. Quality you time to fill your home with farts, and it's not a problem. <laughs> yep, you will get full access to the entire platform for absolutely free. That's all the workouts, all the nutrition information and the support completely free just text valley to 30 30 30 and it's done just like that you text the word valley wow i lost four pounds just listening i love that that. i know gus i apologize we have a a 1982 van again also named gus oh my god yeah you broke um, the rule you're supposed to do 80s uh lover names for we thought about it but he came with the name gus the bus Okay, and that's so a given. We though. Kinda, I'll let it slide. Yeah, we have to. We had to uh, loophole. When we got it, the guy was like, "My children call him Gus," and we were like, Ugh. "Was he like a Don?" He was like, a, "Yeah, <laughs> my children <laughs> call him Gus." He also was having like a fifth kid, and he was like, "I gotta sell this because I'm having five kids." And we're like, "Yeah, you got come it. to me on the day Idiot. of my daughter's <laughs> car sale." <laughs> I gotta sell this because exactly. I'm having another kid. Is uh. That's America. Ugh. Yeah, like I'm just just give me the deed. I don't <laughs> yeah, need the backstory. Yeah, that's back exactly story. it. I'm like, please just <laughs> let bus. me. Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on. Look, man, I'm here for the. Uh, I don't give a shit. Like, just let give me, me buy the car. Started in '74. Ah, 
here we are. <laughs> um, so we went camping. It was really beautiful. It was really nice. It's a really nice place because you lose all cell service, mm. which is just a real dream of mine. Because uh, you're not, you, you just don't, you don't mm-hmm. get caught up in anything, mm-hmm. and it's so nice. And there's something super scary about it because Delman was like late with the van, and we we're like. We don't know when he's gonna get here. We're back in two thousand, you know, 2000. like which is such a funny thing. But we, it was, it felt like we were back in like those times where you're like, I don't know when he's gonna get here. I don't know who directed Forrest Gump, <laughs> like <laughs> all those things. You're like, I don't know. Um, so it was really nice to just get away from it, and we were like. Gus is cruising. We just got a part of his engine rebuilt because um, it needed to happen because he's ni- 80, 1982. He's an and old Gus. He's an old mm-hmm. Gus. And it was really beautiful. And then we're driving down the road uh, on our way back from this beautiful journey that we're at. And all of a sudden, the car just starts slam overheating. And Delman's like, if you know Delman at all, uh, he handles stress so well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He yeah, just no, goes, I, if there's one thing I know about husband. Delman, he's a cool cucumber. He's a cool when cucumber it to... when it comes to any stress. And he's just like, fuck, 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 <laughs> like just screaming. And we're just like, okay. And I'm like, pull over on the side of the road. And he's like, there's not enough room. And I'm like, legally, there has to be enough uh, room for a car. Like, that's how it has to happen legally mm-hmm. on highways or freeways. It's just, it's going to be very tight and very scary, but there's enough room. Pulls over. We wait 30 minutes. And we're like, okay, it's cooled down. Let's start it again. Started again driving. It, I mean, skyrocket overheats. Whoa. Del pulls over. And then gets out of the car, we see smoke. Just like full smoke. It's spraying all these uh, fluids. Swear words. Swear words. It's it's cussing (laughs) to death. No, it's just spraying all these fluids. Del's like, get out of the car with the dogs. Because we... It's a common thing that uh, Vanikins like catch on fire. Um, you know, we're sounds smart. Sounds safe. Just Vanikin really things. Just Vanikin <laughs> things, you know. Um, <laughs> but so we literally, it. he's like, get out of the car. Because it was, it was like spraying this oil and like coolant everywhere. So I snagged the dogs and we're like running out all on the side of the freeway. And we're just panicking. And we're like, oh my God, this is insane. What happened? How did this happen? And uh, we called AAA and we 100% got the premiere uh, thing of like 200 mile tow and then we call them and they're like no you don't you don't don't got that you have five miles we can drive you somewhere sorry that happened to you and i'm like you're useless but we couldn't call anyone it was sunday yeah i mean that was it it was like hey (laughs) (laughs) bob's burgers sucks Um, about your car sucks about your car (laughs) that's your what? I'm sorry you got me. I'm just here for the weekend. I'm doing. That was exactly I'm researching it. for a role. I am so sorry. Um, but so we called, and it was like pure pandemonium and pure hell. Um, and then they were like, "Well, we can't call membership services because it's Sunday and it's closed." And it was like just oh it was God. literally it was all of it. We were just like, "What? We're a hundred miles from home. Like, what do we do? You know, mm-hmm. it's pure panic." Uh, and then like the dopest of a guy in another van again pulls up. And he is like, Vanagon, hey, Vanagon. Vanagon, another man again. He yeah. pulls up and he's like, hey, what's going on? So he goes, he looks under it and he's like, well, yours is a diesel. I can't help you, but I promise you it's just pipes. You got a new thing and it's a pressure thing. I've been driving these cars for 30 years. You need anything? And he gives us like cardboard to stick under the car and all these things. Mm-hmm. And then another guy, after he leaves and we're like, well, where are we going to tow this stupid car? And we're that still guy kind was of a in ghost, a pickle. By the he way. was a pure ghost. Yeah. Another guy in a van pulls up. <laughs> And he's like, what is going on what's here? going on? What happened? I love these cars. I have one at home. I've driven it for 20 years, blah, blah, blah. He looks under, he's like, it's a pipe thing. And we're like, well, we can't tow it anywhere. And he's like, I got AAA. Use my 100 miles. And we're like, "Wow." oh, okay. So it was so sweet. He gave us his 100 miles to tow the car to this. He's like, oh, I'll call my mechanic in the car. Take it to my mechanic. He's going to be great. And then we'll meet you at the mechanic. And we're like, great. And it was like him and this wonderful, sweet kid that was there. And they were both the kindest people That's ever. so cool. And That's I, amazing. it was amazing. And I, so they were so sweet. And then he's like, we'll meet you in the mechanic. And like, we're driving in, in the d- gigantic flatbed tow truck that now is provided by these people um, to the mechanic. I have two dogs on my lap and Dylan and I are like, this is insane. Like this doesn't happen anymore. Mm-hmm. Like people don't stop uh, on the side nice of the road. Nice things. Nice things don't happen anymore. Also like super kind, consistent, nice things. Like even the tow truck driver, we called him and we're like, hey, like we can switch toes. And he's like, do it, go for it, man. And I was like, that was a nice thing that a lot of other people wouldn't have done. Mm-hmm. So then we go we, to this mechanic and it's still really far from where we're at. And this kid is like, Hey, where where are you going? We're like, we're going to West Hollywood. I guess we can call a friend to come all the way out. And he's like, well, let's go to West Hollywood. And he like drove us to West Hollywood. Also a ghost. Wow. Also a ghost. <laughs> he, I mean, from from deep in there. I mean, it was one of those experiences that like 
Dell and I were like, oh, this doesn't happen anymore. It was a total yeah. faith in humanity restore. Yeah, it rekindled yeah. the fire. I huh? mean, fully. And this kid is also, the, I keep calling him kid. He's like a full adult. Um, an amazing person. Like we learned so much about him. And I was like, I know I was supposed to meet this person. You're like one of the best people I've ever met in my life. He's like, oh, you're just in Lebanon teaching kids meditation. And I'm like, good God, you wonderful human. <laughs> Nerd, and I'm like, right? I am. Come on. Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> yeah, come on. You're right, dude. You're right. <laughs> no, I mean, it was like. <laughs> Sorry to undermine your human experience. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> it was so amazing. And it really was you one suck. of those things. You suck. Oh, cool kids who want meditation in Lebanon. Oh, cool, man. But we learned so much about this amazing Joke's human on being. you. I don't know what Lebanon <laughs> is. <laughs> oh, is it dangerous there? Really? Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, got it. Oh, yeah, it's been. Okay, yeah, it's been. Breathe through the nostrils. Yeah, yeah. Your, your story sounds really cool. I want to back it up just for a second. Did you say levitation or <laughs> meditation? Because, <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Super cool. I didn't think either of those were possible, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you can meditate. No way. So it's nice. That's awesome. What a great cool. story. Like. It was nice. Yeah. It was a really nice, sweet thing. I'm going to eat the heck out of a sandwich when I'm done with this. Oh my God, this man. <laughs> yeah, your I'm, body's yearning. It's that time. Yeah, You're my really body's like... for a just mayo sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Toasted, of course. I'm going to put some mayo and Skittles on this sandwich <laughs> and see, uh, just see if that cures goes. it. Well, I should wrap it's it up. So Why don't you take us my out My body here, was huh? mad. Wait, do you have well, a topic? Jill, you did not? We're at, we're at an oh, hour we're and an ten. Hour. Gus, We've do you feel like you got to say yeah, everything it, you needed to say? I've yes, I've achieved completion. Do you feel like you have? <laughs> yes. Okay. I've great. achieved <laughs> completion. <laughs> I have a fun topic, but I'll save it for next time because cool. it's evergreen. Um, and it's uh, it's how about this? Tune in next time because it's a topic that I'm really pissed off about. Oh, oh, oh that. I know what it is. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, it's a cliffhanger. Oh, dang, yeah. I would have not said my whole story to yeah, talk about. No, that. but you're gonna want to. You're gonna want to be there next Guys, week. Guys, legit, it's gonna be. So could good. be. I'll be in Canada. Won't you what? be too? We will be too. Yeah. We, you're going to <laughs> Buffalo. Yeah. Hey. You know yes! Stop assaulting me, though, please. <laughs> so enough. All, oh, I'm enough. Excited. That <laughs> is cool. enough. Yeah, guys, we're yeah, all going to we'll be at be Buffalo. Uh, we're all going to be at Buffalo, and, and then Gus, gets, we get to <laughs> hang out with Gus in Toronto. <laughs> I haven't actually nice. plugged it on my channel at all, so <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. So yeah, Gus, why don't you tell him where you're going to be at Buffalo? I haven't finished my video yet. Okay. Yeah, it's actually coming. We just submitted ours yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, um, yeah, I'm going to be at Buffer Good too, job, so. man. <laughs> All right, so if you're already coming, you'll be there. But <laughs> <laughs> See uh, Nailed it. Do you think maybe you may grab some drinks or something? What words were those? You want to hang out with us? You he hang? wants to know at if you want to drink and vomit with him. Yeah, I you want to do that? <laughs> maybe we could drink and vomit a little bit? I yeah. could swing a, a puke or two. Yeah. Where, uh, where can people find you? Yeah. <laughs> you can just look up Gus Johnson. And then once you get past the 52-year-old African-American sportscaster, oh. I'm the second guy. <laughs> you're is. the other Gus. I'm the other Gus. I loved for there was a portion of time where when you googled Gus Johnson his biography would show up but then the like Gus Johnson is a 52 year old East your Bans picture quote, but it was my picture of me with my pants down like this <laughs> trying to like get toilet paper in a store <laughs> Thanks, Love Google. Fun Beautiful. stuff. Yeah. All right, Gus, you're, you're wonderful and hilarious. Joe, I'm sorry that you didn't get to Oh, no, no, no it's good. But, um, oh, we're doing this thing. We're going to tease. We're teasing. Well, but yeah, we, we, we are going to Buffer Fest next week, but yeah. we're also still doing the podcast next week. So. Yes, and so we'll stay see tuned. you guys, and we love you, and thank you, and goodbye. And if you uh, ever find a brown Pendleton sweater in the size of Gus, uh, do you do, do you want to DM me? Send it you straight or? to send you. Me, shoot me an email. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that that reminds me of he has $50. Do would, not give it to the African American Gus. <laughs> he doesn't want them. He We're assuming. And not because he's an African American. No, no, it's got nothing he, to do with it. He hasn't yeah. expressed interest in that sweater, yeah. and I have. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I not, not to assume. I went to a place called No Vacancy, which is one of the coolest places in Los Angeles, this after the Puppet Strip Club. And I, speaking of that, like how the woman was like, I know, Kate, but listen. This is Kate's a, like, I have to edit this. This is so fun. Like, Shut up, guys. I don't know. Maybe you this know, is the worst part of the hangover is the stories. <laughs> when the, yeah, it's like <laughs> me at my most like, you know what else? Uh, <laughs> the woman who was like, I feel weird about this. When you offered her $50, I had a similar experience, but it was after a, a, a bartender gave me an extra drink and I like slid it over to a girl and was like, do you just, do you want this like extra drink? They made like a, you know, like a cocktail yeah. or whatever that I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't order. And she was like, no, we're not going to take your drink. And I was like, Oh, I'm a predator. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, bye. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining us, everybody. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. I'm a predator.